Watch you guys got another video on how to disable or uninstall Windows Recall to protect your data privacy. Now we have a real machine here that has Windows Recall installed on it. And as you can see, privacy and security, here is the recall and snapshots area right here. I'm not signed in right now, but if I was, this will be fully active and it will be taking snapshots of everything I do on my computer. All of the data is stored on the computer, but if you don't want anything to do with recall if you want to know what recall is you can watch my previous video which i did yesterday and it will explain what recall is so we're going to be uninstalling this and disabling it today on here and i'll show you how to do it on a fully working system with recall installed but first let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor cd key sales if you're looking for cheap windows 10 pro and cheap windows 11 pro oem keys then check out the link in the video description and use my promo code capital B capital R 09 apply this to your order and get a 30% discount on all your purchases once you submit your order they will then send you your key and you can then activate your version of Windows just like this as you see on the screen okay so let's get back to the tutorial here so as you can see this is a Copilot Plus PC or laptop and you can see Windows 11 Pro is installed and we do have a Snapdragon processor in here, which means that it's compatible for Windows Recall. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this from the system. So first off, if you do have a Copilot Plus PC and you want to remove it, then you need to go to a Group Policy Editor by typing GP Edit in the search box right here. I'll show you a number of different ways of doing this. Inside here, we're going to open this up right here. Inside the Group Policy Editor window, uh, we need to open this up so we can see it a bit wider. Now I'm using a trackpad here. I should have put a mouse on here to make it a bit easier, but it's a bit more difficult with a trackpad. But all we need to do here is go to the administrative templates under user configuration, go to Windows components, and then we're going to come down here. And what we're looking for is the uh, Windows AI uh, section right here. So let me come down a little bit further and look for the Windows AI section. And once you find the Windows AI section right here, on the right hand pane, you're going to see a bunch of different, uh, you know, policies that we can set here. So turn off saving snapshots for the use of Windows Recall. And you can see right here uh, on here, if the policy is not configured, snapshots won't be saved for use with Recall. And that's because by default, Recall is not enabled. But if we enable this policy, snapshots won't be saved for the use with Recall. If snapshots were previously saved on this device, they will be deleted uh, when this policy is enabled. So you really do want to enable this policy to stop um, any sort of snapshots from being recorded. And also it will delete any snapshots if you set this up by accident, not knowing what you was actually doing. So you want to enable this policy. So let's put the radio button inside of the enabled box and then we can apply an OK this particular feature. So let's go ahead and do that and click OK. And then that should now be set. So let's take a look at this other policy here. Now, I don't think we need to worry about this one right here, which is set maximum storage for snapshots used by recall. As you can see right at the very bottom, it says this set setting applies to enterprise or educational client uh, SKUs. So you don't really need to do this, but if you don't want it, you can always put disabled here, I suppose, if you wanted to, just to make sure. So let's go ahead and do that anyway and put a disabled. So I've gone ahead and put the radio button in disabled, click OK. And now we can move on to the next one. So there's another one here, and these are probably all to do with enterprise and to do with education. So we're going to click on it and check it. And you can see this one also says important. This setting applies to enterprise and educational client SKUs only. But again, for protection, what we're going to do is we're going to put the disable button on this one as well. So let's put the disable button, click OK, and that's now done. So let's move on to the next one, which is this one right here. This is also probably to do with education and enterprise. And there you go, it says it right at the very bottom. So changes to this policy takes effect after the device has been restarted. So you will need to restart. So I'm gonna put a disabled here. And next, this one right here, you do definitely wanna do. This is disable click to do. And this policy is disabled. Users will have the click to do available if you put disabled here. So you do definitely want to use 
the enabled feature for this. So when the policy is enabled, the click to do component and entry points will not be available for users. So we definitely want to do that. So let's go ahead and put the radio button in enabled and then click OK here. So those top two are probably going to be your main ones. This next one right here. So this next one is probably to do with enterprise and education, which it is. So we're just going to disable this and click OK. And that is the group policy settings taken care of. So that's the first step of the process is to put policies in place to stop uh, Windows Recall from working. So next we're going to uninstall it and remove it as well. So we've got also Copilot here. If you don't want to use Copilot, you could just go in here and basically use this and enable this feature. If you enable this policy settings, users will not be able to use Copilot. The Copilot icon will not appear on the taskbar either. And that's what you want to do. So click OK here and that will be that done. You can also uninstall that as well, which is what I would advise you to do if you don't want anything to do with Copilot or even Recall on your system. So I'm not going to go too deep into the Copilot side of things. Let's just take care of, uh, you know, Windows Recall because that's what this video is about. But while we're here, I might as well just do this one right here. OK, so now that's the group policies taken care of. So let's uh, close this off and we'll move on to the next step. Now, this next step is very important because this is to uninstall Recall from your computer. So you're going to go to the start button here and type in turn windows features on or off. If you type the word turn, you should see turn windows features on or off show up on the panel here. Open this up and what you're looking for here is recall. Now recall inside here is going to be able to be unchecked. And what that means is it's going to remove that component from the computer. This is important. Now Microsoft were sort of I'm in an iron whether they're going to allow you to uninstall this, but it seems they've made a backtrack and actually allowed you now to remove the component altogether. So we're just going to go ahead and remove this by unchecking it, clicking OK, and you can see it's removing this Windows feature from our PC, which is very important. So now we are going to need to restart the system because it needs to finish off the uninstallation process. So as you can see on the restart, it's going to do some updates. That means it's going to remove this component from the PC. Now, there was a big debate whether Microsoft were going to allow you to do this. At first, they said, no, you're not going to be able to uninstall it. And I think after massive pressure from the public, I think they've actually now allowing you to uninstall this from the system, which is a big plus for me. If, you know, you've got one of these Copilot Plus PCs, you should have the option to uninstall the Windows Recall feature, which is what Microsoft have done. So I tip me out off to Microsoft for reversing this and allowing this to happen because some people had fears that this will be embedded in the code and you wouldn't be able to remove it. Whereas by default, it is off, which is another big plus from Microsoft because at first they were saying you would have to opt out during the setup process, but now you have to opt in to be able to use this feature. So I guess credit where credit's due, they have reversed what they initially set out to do. So let's go ahead and sign in now with our PIN and we can now log back into the computer and we should be back at the desktop, there we go. So just to show you here, now if we go to the start button right here and we go to settings panel and we take a look at privacy and security where recall was, you should now see that the recall feature has now been removed. So it's now mo removed from the system. It's not here anymore, but click to do preview is still here. But as you can see, when you click on it, because we've got those policies, some of these policy settings are managed by your organization. It's grayed out and it's off to stop people toggling it on by accident or stop Microsoft from uh, you know, enabling this feature in the background. But they won't be able to do anything because the actual recall module has been removed from the computer using the uh, turn windows features on or off so that is a good sign right here for copilot plus pcs owners that don't want to have windows recall on their system of course if you do want to use windows recall then don't follow this video so let's move on to the next step i just want to check in command prompt to see whether the recall uh, payload has been removed from the system. So type CMD here and run this as administrator. Say yes to the user account control here. And in the command prompt window, 
we can quickly check to see whether the recall feature has been removed. So we're going to type out this command right here. Now by running this command, this will tell us whether the Windows recall payload is running on the system. So we're going to type out DISM space forward slash online space forward slash get dash feature info space forward slash feature name and then colon and then recall just like so. And once we've done that, we can push enter on the keyboard and this will tell us, you can see here, the state of it is disabled with payload removed. It says it right there. I will highlight that in yellow so you can see it on the screen. Now I'm just going to make sure it's disabled permanently by using this command right here, which is your DISM space forward slash online space forward slash disable dash feature space forward slash feature name colon recall. And you can see it's now completely uh, removing the service from the system. So we've uninstalled it by removing the check mark from turn windows features on or off. And we've now disabled that service, so it should be completely off the system. And we've also blocked it. And we can quickly check here. And you can see we're now getting an error code coming up. And that's because we've removed it all from the computer. And that's exactly what we want. We don't want it on the system whatsoever. So it doesn't really matter now. It's not going to be able to run because we've got policies in place. Plus, we've uninstalled it from the system and we've stopped the service from running so that's basically how you can take care of the windows recall feature on a copilot plus pc or laptop you're going to need to restart your pc so let's go ahead and do that right here and once we get back to the desktop windows recall should be removed from your computer and it won't be working and it won't be running on the system so you should be windows recall free and that's exactly what a lot of people are going to want to do now as far as i know this is the only video on YouTube that actually officially shows you how to remove Windows Recall on a proper Copilot Plus PC rather than showing it like I've done previously, which wasn't a Copilot Plus PC. I think things have changed a little bit, but this is a must have uh, video for a lot of people that do have Copilot Plus PCs that want to remove it from their PC. Anyway, but that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server. Link is in the video description. Bye for now.